Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video and your daily update on the not coin or not. I uh, wanted to do a full update. We'll do a full technical update. I won't talk as much about the fundamentals because fundamentally, I believe that uh, everything is priced in, right? So, so what that means is that whatever news there is, whatever integrations that the Nordcoin has into certain Telegram uh, things, uh, whatever Ton is doing right now, because Ton is relatively bullish uh, over the course of uh, the last 24 hours, but before that as well, um, I think that's calculated into the price already, right? Because the, the, the crypto markets, especially when the volume is very high, are relatively efficient and the volume for not even though it has dropped down a bit um is 2.2 billion dollars so i assume that everything is um is in line with what we know now if you look at ton though and you cannot see it right here but you can see kind of the the seven day change in tvl uh, ton is doing amazing so that obviously increases the the bullish case for not because what we've talked about for a long time already is that one of the main reasons and one of the most bullish cases for not is that ton will become one of the biggest networks which it is not right now like i said it is growing a lot like a, a super like like very much but if you compare if you compare ton with other blockchains like it's still smaller than optos and linea and thorchain and sui and optimism uh, so it still has a relatively long way to go, but NOT is by far the, the, the biggest and the strongest meme coin on TON. So if TON grows, which it is still doing, then that increases the potential for NOT. Now, if we take a look at the technical situation now for NOT though, um, we get a bit of a, like fundamentally, I think NOT is bullish. The technical situation though is a bit different uh, because we have been getting some bearish confirmations. First of all, the first bearish confirmation is what we, um, what I assumed was a breakout yesterday, uh, but that was actually a fake out. So we got a fake out above 2.5 cents, which is still our main resistance level. And then you can also see that the, the 28 and the 50 EMA right here, which are usually like, like those function as support levels when a crypto is very bullish. So right now you can see that they're not only functioning, they're, they're not functioning as a support, but they're actually functioning as some sort of a resistance as well. And we're respecting them as resistance levels. So those purely technically, that's not great. Now, do I think not is, is bearish here? No, um, I don't think so. But you can see that the open interest is kind of flat after a bigger increase yesterday. That's also where the breakout or the fake out came from. The spot CVD is holding up relatively well. There's uh, there's no divergence, but but you can see that uh, both the price, the momentum, and the RSI are dropping down. Um, so, like I said, I'm not bearish on that, but that does mean that we are not super bullish on the short term. If you zoom out, obviously we are bullish, and usually, like like what I think is that we're consolidating, and usually if you have such a a strong rally. And you get into a consolidation usually you break out and, and you continue going up all right um so longer term i am bullish on, on not but short term it's just best to wait for some confirmation um i think all right because like i said there, there's no momentum in in one or one one on the other side um there's no clear technical direction either so the main consolidation range which we are in is between two cents that's our main support level uh, big psychological support level, but there's also multiple technical factors down there and 2.5 cents. This is the consolidation the consolidation range which we are in and you have to wait, or at least, I mean, you don't have to do anything, but I will wait for either 2.5 cents to break or 2 cents to break. Then we have a breakout out of this consolidation and then we have a bit of a better idea of the, the most likely direction. And uh, if you want to know what I think is most likely, I think it's most likely we'll consolidate here and that we will eventually get a bullish breakout and rally back up to three cents. Those are my thoughts. All right, that's what you need to know. For now, thank you for watching. Take care today and, uh, and bye.